Let's pick it right back up. You said you yep. said phase two strategy. Yeah, you got to come up with your phase two strategy because, okay, great, it's one week run. What's next for us? You know, the traditional films at these studios, they have theatrical, they have VOD, they have you know network, they have cable, they have multi-platform releases. So we got to come up with what's our multi-platform release. So after it's had its one week run, we already got to be thinking about who are these folks that we're going to try to reach and invite to the screening that we could potentially do some kind of on-demand or online deal with. Um, or cable or network, who knows, you know? So we invite those people to attend. You take your meetings after, and guess what? That's another announcement. So once you do your deal, that it's gonna, you're partnering with a, a, a company like an IndiePix or some, an IndieFlix or someone like this, that's a separate announcement. You work with the machine, like I said. So we work together as partners. You guys are gonna put out a press release, make sure we have our messaging in, and then we spread the news, that's another story, and then you send that to your network, and then when it's getting ready to come out on uh, the day that it's coming out, that's a tune-in alert. Everybody watch the film, support us, it's gonna come on. So we think just like the, you know, just like the studios do, is we map out our game plan all the way through what's happening with it, you know, and then you support it with social. That's your, that's your strategy. Yeah, I'm wondering, you know, because it's so easy when you're in this mode and you're just blasting everybody, you know, it's like, I'm just going to blast out this message. And, and sometimes you, you may just sort of bypass protocol, you know, like, you know, maybe you have, like, you know, we, I'm sure we have a ton of email addresses where, like, we don't necessarily have the relationship, mm -hmm. but we're just so desperate to just get out there, send it out to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, should should we just go through our channels? Like, you know, should we should we just say, all right, you know, go where we have the pre-existing relationships, or should we take some of these, like, you know, maybe PR lists and different things? You know, is there a certain protocol? Like, you know, are you, are you getting yourself in hot water by by not doing it right? I think first of all, there's no holes barred. Second of all, at the end of the email, you say unsubscribe, so they can always tap out if they don't want to be blasted. Third. I'm always updating lists and finding new places and avenues for the clients. So I feel like you harness your core base and then depending on what the project is, yes, you build on that list and you find other other avenues and your partners can, but I think there's no, at the end of the day, you know, as long as you're not emailing them twice a day about the movie, you know, I think it's, I think it's fine. You gotta, you gotta tell people about your event and your screening. Let's say I'm doing a, okay, let's say a monthly screening, for instance. I don't feel we do enough for our monthly screenings, Holly Schwartz Wise. You know, um, uh, a company that does very good is DC Shorts. They're very good about their branding and their visual look. Um, you know, these guys put out a news blast and they do a reminder. We do the same thing. We do a, an initial blast about the event and then we do a, a reminder closer to it. So everyone, everyone does it. Just make sure your branding looks good. Make sure everything is gorgeous and it's and it's tight. And at the end, you put unsubscribe. So if they don't want to be on it, they can they can opt out. But you're de remember you're delivering quality content. You're, de you're delivering a quality product. You know. So if Coke and Pepsi can do it, why can't you?